Rhys is just uh, being scanned at the moment, CAT scan on that, so uh, it's not a break at the moment, but whether it's ligament damage or not, but uh, and Lee is going to be scanned either tomorrow or Monday. Yeah, it's not great, is it? You know, but uh, you got to feel feel for the, you know, if they if they are ruled out, it's a, it's a massive blow for them, and you know, it's disappointing for us. But um, you know, sometimes you got to got to you got to put that behind and work with the players that you got and build them, and have, you know, have the confidence going into the into the next game. Um, Liam Williams taking a full part in, in training next week and um, and potentially in the next 24, 48 hours, you know, we'll have to, when we get the results back, you know, we may have to sit down and start thinking about replacements. But until then, you know, we're talking about the possibilities now, but we haven't, uh, there's nothing concrete in our heads about that. You know, we've made a lot of mistakes ourselves. It's a frustrating game and we've gone out with the intention of wanting to play rugby and it was just so stop-start the whole game and you know, we've gone from 43 minutes of ball and play time last week to 26 minutes this week, you know, it's just... And, you know, we had the same sort of game against them um, like 2014 in the Six Nations with the same referee as well. You know, it was just very stop-start and, you know, they were a difficult team to put away. And, and at the end of the end of it, you know, the, the thing that we decided to do was to make sure we won. I think that was the most important thing we've... You know, we've we've tapped early on, and we've tried to keep a bit of momentum and a bit, a bit of tempo, and that was a bit frustrating. They were hard to break down. They had 14 players, you know, constantly in the front line, and maybe we should have just chipped over the top, of, you know, a, a, a bit sooner in the game, and we didn't do that. And you know, we've turned the ball over on too many occasions, and but, you know, just in the end, we decided the most important thing was just to get out of get out of dodge and win the game. <coughs> I mean, yeah, obviously, you, you. I mean, I'm going to be very optimistic and hope that, you know, if it was like a ligament grade one, grade two, which, you know, sometimes these things feel worse and you can rehab those and get back within three weeks. So, you know, again, I'm going to be optimistic until I hear otherwise um, for both our lads. But, I mean, you do really worry for them when you see them down in a bit of pain on the pitch. And that, you know, that does sort of, you know, disrupt the players a little bit because you hope the best. I'm saying your mates at the end of the day and you really hope they're okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be gutting for those who, if they were ruled out, because they put in so much effort. You know, both looking in fantastic shape, and you know they are. You know, there's no we're getting around. They're two huge players for us. So um, you know, fingers crossed. Over the next 24, 48 hours, you know, they look after themselves the best they can. They're two of the best pros that we've got in the squad. So um, just fingers crossed for, for the scam results on Monday.